What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Hope y'all are feeling well today. Really happy about this one yeah. for many reasons. I know. Just a couple reasons, at least. I gotta give you the backstory. Okay, so we recently discovered Dirty Loops thanks to Melly. Thank you very much, Melly. And in the comments from Dirty Loops, which was awesome, I'm gonna mispronounce the name, so I gotta look at it again. I thought for sure I would remember this name, but I don't. Thank you, Maj Ken Vanja for suggesting <laughs> this song that we're gonna do today, which is the Project Gem, or Band Gem, which consists of Matt Garska, which as soon as I saw that in the comments, it was like, I these two are gonna love this. They both are big Garska fans. Probably one, yeah. probably one of the best drummers in the world Currently. right now yeah. that I know about. And mm -hmm. then Henrique, the bass player from Dirty Loops, which Dude. we were amazingly, like, instantly amazed by, right? Mm -hmm. Dude is ridiculous, man. And I've seen yeah. a bunch of his little shorts on YouTube mm -hmm. ever since we did Dirty Loops. And now when I go on YouTube, I see, like, little shorts of him. And I've seen some other stuff that he's played, and I'm just like, Blown away. This, and he seems like the coolest dude, like the most chill dude. He knows his shit. Like, he just fucking talks. <laughs> Good. Sorry. <laughs> and he just talks about everything the way it should be. It's it's awesome. I love it. I don't know who the pianist is. I think his name is Eldar. Eldar. Eldar Jengirov. Apologies for the name hacking there. And I'm not familiar with his body of work, but if he's playing along with these other two, he's got to be pretty phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. It's, it has to be. Yeah. So it's going to be mm -hmm. awesome. And the homie that said your name, I, I, that said to do this, I wonder if it's Major Ken Vanja. Like I don't know. Major, I'm sorry that you know, I, I or is it Maj? <laughs> <laughs> I looked at it. I was like, maybe it's Major Ken. Yeah. You know, I don't know, Could but I'm grateful. Cool. I'm gonna just Could start be. calling you Major Ken. Thank you for Major Ken. <laughs> Major Mage. Ken. Yeah. Mage. Yep. Thank you very much for this, Thank and I uh, can't wait to check this out. So yeah. we're gonna jump right into it. Before we do, my friends, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. Thank you. Helps us out a whole lot, and uh, let's check it out. This is Gem Vertigo, featuring Matt Garska. Ooh. I can't wait to see this. I know. Oh my God, this is gonna be awesome. As soon as I said Matt Garsko, it was like, yes. Yep. Yes, we're doing yep. it. We doing mm -hmm. it. All right, right off the bat. Look at that. Well, give me some more volume too. Me too, please. He's got the keyboard sitting up in the left right yeah. piano. <laughs> He's got that little synth sound Jeez. on the keyboard. <laughs> they mic'd the back of the keyboard. No, that's the piano. I know. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't always mic them so yeah. high up like that. You're just going to get a lot of ambience like this. I wonder if this is them messing with people. You know oh, what I mean? Like you know, Henry bringing in his little pranks from uh, Dirty Loops and putting mics and equipment where... Yeah, anytime yeah. we've done um, grand pianos and stuff on gigs, they're always like right over top of the strings. You know, they're not usually that high up. But where he's got this, this would be like set up. Well, it has not, no, because they'd be yeah. down well, here. Yeah. But then again, that's a live stage versus in the studio where you have more of an isolated environment. That's true. And you don't have as much stage volume. You like you need to get things real close on stage. Well, that's true. <laughs> but it's like we had the same issue with us here with miking up things because the further away it is, the more room sound right. you get. That's going to happen in a studio oh, too. Of course. So, but either way, I, it, I, it caught my attention because I was like, wait, those are really high up. And you don't need three of them that high up like that. You know what I mean? So that's what makes me feel like they're messing with people, uh, you know? I don't know. I could be totally wrong, but now I'm on the lookout for... I mean, what it could I just be blending. Could be. Yeah. That's a lot, but yeah. Nope. Oh, uh, wait. <laughs> okay, because I see cables going here that seem low, but that's probably for the that's back for of the this. Keyboard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, there's another one there's up another there, one. too. There's a fourth. 
thumbs mess. Thumbs fishy here. Well, that dude's involved. He, oh, well, he's got to maybe talk back, Mike. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? what? He's got, well that, well, that dude's involved from Dirty Loop, so maybe he did incorporate some of that in That's there. But I saw the mic right behind him. Talk but back. that must be just talk back. Yeah. yeah. She called it out on the Dirty Loops one we did the first time, and she was like, is that, you know, like a room mic? And it was probably a talk back, but it was like right behind him, yeah. same place. Yeah. I wish the bass was mixed a little higher, though. You see how his frets are all weird? It's not a fan fret bass. Look at his frets on his bass. Hmm. I've seen that before, I just don't know what it's called. Especially on the lowest string. Wow. Hmm? Especially on the lowest string. Yeah. Do you want to put it on a picture? Yeah. Oh, right I didn't know if you were going to say, because I, I, I didn't want to just talk over the whole thing. So um, I, I didn't was trying see... to be quick about it. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. I want to see what he's doing um, with those frets, because they're not like the microtonal ones where they're like in between frets, right? No, the, no, Just the not. frets themselves right. look weird. All right, because uh, I got to keep an eye out on that. Those keys. Yeah. Interesting. I have seen those, and I don't know so enough to say what. Like, it makes me wonder if those are like microtonal. I, well, I it's some intonation and extended scale. I'm a, I'm assuming. But from what I remember reading about them a long time ago, or seeing them because I saw them and I tried looking it up a long time ago, and what I found was there was some dude. I think over in Europe somewhere that figured out that uh, you know the the actual tone of the guitar or the note of the guitar at each fret isn't actually right on the note, and so it's not like a fan fret like you know fans kind of thing mm -hmm. fans things out is supposed to try to help correct that, but it's not exactly you know like that scale. And what the fretboard that he came up with for a true tone, like exact note fretboard, was all sorts of squiggly, crazy lines. Mm. They weren't just straight frets anymore. They're like squiggly lines to make sure that it's the exact yeah. note. YouTubers. But your YouTube yeah. supporters. Anybody knows anything about this? Let us know. Drop them comments below because uh, we definitely need to know more about that because mm -hmm. I, I don't know that I know that. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. We'll keep it going. We've got some kind of chill part coming up. Yeah, yeah. Those things are like it's just like slight squiggles <laughs> here. Slight squiggles. It's just like it just slightly yeah. corrects the pitch of the note. So yeah. when he hits it, it's what it's supposed to be. I don't Faux think I've show. ever seen that before. I've seen it's it a few it's times. Crazy. Feet. What? 
there was some other that stuff there was going on in the background. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> we both, yeah. Totally an animal's groove right there. I was gonna say it's very animal's groove. Animal, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that is Matt Garcia. Yeah. So. so cool. Probably thinking about what he's gonna make for dinner tonight. <laughs> you think, yeah, it's that good, <laughs> right? right? Wonder what's for lunch. Yeah. I must be getting hungry. I think I am. I'm definitely getting hungry. Tasty. Yo. That Whoa. was long. Awesome. That was awesome. Right? Wasn't that a long song? I don't, it didn't feel long. I don't to mean me. long in a bad way. Know. It was awesome, but it was like, wow, they really went on for a what while. What was it? It was like six minutes? Maybe? Yeah. Maybe? Six I don't minutes? know, but it was dope. Like, I remember seeing. Like, yeah. it, it was one of those things where there's so much happening right from the start. From like, the start. I mean, Immediate. there wasn't like a second of silence and then it's just like, <laughs> like But I, I love it. Yeah, I love it. It's, I, it's it might have been a little more for Ninja's taste, right? You, like you appreciate it, but I don't think- It was think... fun to hear, but I wouldn't listen to it personally, but I, I like it. It it's was very nutty. familiar to me. It was very piano heavy for me, which isn't yeah. anything bad. It was it was wonderful for what it was. Just Yeah, I, yeah. I definitely could have used more of a mix in that bass. You know what I mean? That dude was doing some sick yeah, shit. Yeah. Gone and and like you could hear it. And when he clicked on the fuzz pedal, mm -hmm. I don't know if that was the fuzz pedal or if that was it was the four the mics keys. on the piano. Oh. Now, <laughs> now on that, like I I think you're right about that actually because I noticed as it was going on that the pianist was in a completely separate room, closed off from the other two. Yeah, yeah. The only reason to do that is because you have live mics. Right. Otherwise, what's the point right. if you're doing MIDI and from you the have, piano? The piano is Very the only thing point. in the room making noise. And the you drums. You can put the mics wherever you want. Exactly. Because the drums and the other things are not going to move into the mics. I was so. thinking that Mystery as I was watching and I saw mm -hmm. he was in there by himself. I'm like, okay, so it makes more sense. Well, that, I'm not usually in a controlled environment 
like he was saying, when I'm doing gigs, it's live in huge halls. On a halls, stage. On a stage in and front of- And the pianist is right next to the drum kit. Exactly, yeah. so we usually loud. have the mic really close, right. you know, like as close mm -hmm. as we can to not get Otherwise all the Otherwise you're gonna ambience. get drum kit. <laughs> or we're gonna get audience screaming too. It's gonna too. be drum piano. Yeah, drum ano. <laughs> drum ano. So, so yeah, it, it, I, I definitely think those were those mics and, and, and it sounded great. I just wish the bass was up, but yeah. man yeah. was that sick. Yeah, you know, like phenomenal. Matt Garska is just. I love how jazzy, like it was. It was some great jazz, like fusion yeah. stuff, like. Yeah, it, is it that was, what you would call that? It like, was, was it proggy jazz? Is there would, such a thing? I would say more. That didn't feel at least very for fusion. Me, like to, mm, jazz, well, with all the yeah, licks, was fast licks, and yeah. like, odd time signatures and yeah. things like that. Yeah. But like, yeah, I mean, progressive jazz metal. Uh, progressive. Not even metal. It wasn't, it wasn't even, even metal. metal. I feel like it, was just, it wasn't metal. It was. Yeah. It was what totally was this? Like, <laughs> jazzy was, was like the strongest vibe that I this got. This was music. Sure. It was yeah. beautiful yeah. music. And, and to be honest with you, Henrique was awesome, but I definitely liked him more in the Dirty Loops one that we saw. You I know, like was, I think yeah. he stood sure. out more. You could hear him better. Mm -hmm. This was definitely way piano heavy yeah. and focused on the pianist, which I was wonder, amazing. Was I amazing. wonder if the project isn't the, like the pianist isn't the main guy of the project and he just had the Dirty Loops guy and Matt Garska maybe. on his project. That maybe. Could, could you be know, a, maybe could Jem be is gem. his baby. Right, right. If and you know that, had these artists, you know, then let drop them know. comments and let us know. But we're going to get on out of here because we're going to continue to talk about <laughs> yeah. this amazing this is project. This going to be a 20 <laughs> forever. Long discussion. And you know what? We keep talking about having to have a podcast because we get into some deep conversations that are awesome and we would love to have more people doing it live yeah. with us. So that will be coming up, but not on this video. So we're going to get on out of here, my friends. If you like this video and want some more of this stuff, hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button if you're Thank not you. already subscribed. And uh, we will see y'all soon, friends. Peace. Peace. Peace.